Honda Civic transmissions are pretty reliable, but failures do occur. In this video, I'm going to show you how to greatly reduce your chance of a transmission failure on your Honda Civic. Transmission fluid wears out over time, and then it isn't able to cool the transmission properly, causing components to wear. The transmission filter catches any dirt or wear material before it destroys your transmission. Changing the transmission fluid is always a good idea, but don't forget to replace the transmission filter. In this video, I'll be showing you how to replace the external transmission cooler filter on your Honda Civic. Let's get started. This is what it looks like, and it's underneath the air cleaner filter assembly right there. I believe it goes like that. Let's get started and get this done. We have to take off the air cleaner box. Um, what I'm gonna do is take off my battery also. Um, it's just gonna make it easier for me to film it. Uh, you can actually do it without taking out your battery, but. I'm gonna go ahead and, and take it out for you. Next, we'll get rid of our mass airflow sensor connector. Move it aside. And just need to get rid of these clamps. Hold on the filter. This pops right off. Go ahead and remove your air filter. A good time to check it. Mine's about due for replacement. Now we need to remove the rest of our air cleaner here. Looks like there's a bolt here and a bolt, I believe, down there. Here's what I'm using, 10 millimeter socket. That's that, and then there's one way back here. All right. Our next job is to remove the screw down here with the Phillips. There we go, we got a, there we go. And here's our, air intake duct. Let's remove that. So it looks like we got one more thing right here to take off. There we go. Okay, now that the air filter assembly is out of the way, I need to move these hoses out of the way. Um, just kind of pull them out of their holder. That way you can see the filter and that's the 10 millimeter bolt that I need to remove, which I'll use a 10 millimeter socket and ratchet to remove that bolt. You should be able to break that loose and then remove the rest of it by hand now, once that's removed, reach down there and remove that bracket. So our next step is to remove the hoses off the filter. Um, I suggest you lay down a rag or a towel. Uh, once you pull them hoses off, a little bit of oil is going to spill all over your engine compartment. Now, the best way I found to remove these clamps is if you have a pair of pliers and if the nose is fat, that works best. Once you get the clamp off, I have a hose removal tool, which makes it a little bit easier. 
Otherwise, you'll pull the hose as you twist it and the hose should come off. Now go ahead and do the same thing to the other side. A fatter pair of pliers works best. And then remove that hose from the filter. I'm going to use my hose removal tool. It seems to work best. But if you don't have that tool, once again, just twist as you're pulling the hose out. Be careful when you pull the transmission filter out of the engine compartment because transmission fluid is going to want to spill into your engine compartment. Now getting those clamps on that hose is a real pain in the butt. So I made this tool out of some scrap metal. It just fits on the clamp and then just take a pair of vice grips, bend it down and it'll hold the clamp open. That's my tip to you. Now just slide that over the hose and leave the vice grips on it and take your filter, slide it on the hose. And then once it's on there secure, remove your vice grips and that bracket. Next, do the same thing to the other side of the hose. Then take your special tool with your vice grips, slide it back on, make sure it's secure, and then remove your vice grips. Next up, we're gonna put our bracket back on, and we're gonna put our 10 millimeter screw back into the bracket, screw it in, hand tight, then use your wrench to tighten it down, Make sure everything's secure. If you haven't done so, remove that rag that you put in your engine compartment and then reposition your hoses back into the bracket. Put your air cleaner assembly back in. Tighten it down with the two bolts. Reinstall your air filter and top of your air cleaner and reconnect the air intake sensor. Now don't forget to check your transmission fluid. Also, check out my video, how to change your transmission fluid on my YouTube channel. Give me a thumbs up if you learned something. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.